how y'all doing this is earthquake from tattoo for you today we're gonna be reviewing these dragon hawk tattoo supply um ballpoint pen cartridges i have them in purple um they also come in black uh pink green and I believe that's it, or you can get an assortment. Um, I will post a picture from uh, Amazon where I got them. Uh, we're going to be using my mast uh, archer today. So let's check these things out. And no, we don't need gloves today because we're only working with legit pens. You know, these aren't needles. They are packaged like they're needles, though, which is kind of cool. I don't know why you need an expiration date on a pen, but it's still cool like they legit sterilize them like they would a needle so first impressions you could probably make these at home Let's see if I can get that to focus like you got this little cheesy silicone piece in here you got basically a chopped piece of pen that sticks through you got this little uh rubber tip which you gotta rip off i gotta take this off camera for a second make sure i got all that off And I do. So we're just going to be using my piece of paper. See how they stick in the machine. Now, this being crooked is not uh, the pen cartridge's fault, it's my fault. Um, when you do these, let me shut that. When you uh, put these masked archers back together, they have these little screws in here. And if you don't get everything aligned right, your carts will sit in crooked. So I put this together real quick after I sterilized it and. You know, now I got crooked cards, but that'll be fixed before I actually tattoo somebody. But I also have to re sterilize it before I have to start tattooing somebody. So let's just pull on. So if you see, it's not like fully saturated, like if you're doing this in skin, you know, you'd have thick parts here, thick parts here, you know, this would fall out. So it'll help you, can these needles will help you control depth in the sense of it, like you can't really learn depth with them, but you can get to the point where you can learn consistency. Like that was not a consistent line. So we'll do another one where it's more consistent, hopefully. I've never used uh, ballpoint pen cartridges before. All right, that one's a little bit better. These are for dot work, but you can use them for this. It'll help you 
learn how to control like where your hand goes because you're not really supposed to go like this when you're lining when you color pack and whip shade you know you're gonna move your machine around but when you're just lining you're not really wanting to go like this you want to like bring your arm for the most part Do a circle. I'll do a little teardrop with him. All right, good, nice, saturated line that's running on five volts. Now, let's do a little bit of shading. Now, the faster you go and the lighter you go, the lighter tones you'll get. You can cross hatch it. to see I shouldn't have done it with the line paper but that's all I have on hand but as you can see you can get the dot effect for the most part Let's see if we can do something do I have any blank in here yeah this is blank for the most part we'll do something down here Now we're getting that, those dots. Now it's gonna take some practice. I'm no master at this. I hardly use dot work in my tattoos to begin with. I try to go for more smooth color blends, but that's just me. But this is definitely something that's cool. You know, you're not breaking the bank on needles. These, uh, see that I'll zoom in so you can see the dots. But I think I paid uh, eight bucks for these seven bucks of these something like that there'll be a link in the description i am not paid by dragon hawk or mast or any of this crap i'm not even monetized on youtube my goal is to help pass pass knowledge around um when i first started out there wasn't a lot of people 
willing to teach you. I will get into my story later on, but uh, that's my goal. You know, help you guys out. You know, maybe you're tattooing at home, maybe you're looking to get an apprenticeship, but that's my goal. I will only promote supplies, materials, whatever. If I believe in them, if I believe, truly believe it'll help you. And I think these will help you as far as working on your depth, like your control of your machine, consistently pulling lines, you know, maybe you can't afford fake skins and needles and inks and, you know, maybe all you can afford is a cheap machine and some pen cartridges, you know. And some paper this will help you out um again if you know you got that little bit of skill in you these wouldn't be very hard to make especially if you're already working on fake skin and you pop a pot of needle and you know you pop a pot a couple of pens you could make these yourself and save yourself some money you know but definitely do not take apart a needle that you have used on a human being. Or even pig skin. You know, if you're working on fake skin, you know, silicone, that's fine. But, uh, other than that, buy these. Or something like these. Like, subscribe, share. I've been Earthquake from Tattoo for you. Pass on the knowledge. Y'all have a good day.